Greetings to our Denton ISD students, families, faculty, and staff. Uh, I come to you this afternoon um, to just tell you, wow, what a week. Um, as we came out of the 4th of July and everyone had an opportunity to spend some time with their families, we really wanted to, to provide you some information and a beginning framework for what the school year of the 2020-2021 might look like. Um, what we've placed up on our website, if you've yet to check that out, um, the website is www.dentonisd.org forward slash back to school. Um, you will see the health and safety protocol we have in place um, as it's developing, moving forward, um, as well as the connected learning platform um, for, our, for our families who make, who make the option to, uh, to attend school online through connected learning. So that is a work in progress. We're gonna to continue to add information to that as we get questions from our community, uh, from our teachers and from our students. Um, and, but it's a place where you can go to find information and to share with um, your, your friends and, and different places around about what the school year is going to look like. Um, a couple of things, our, our Board of Trustees met on Friday to discuss the school calendar. When we looked at our survey data, overwhelmingly, our teachers, our employees, and our parents really want to get to, back to face-to-face, in-person instruction. All the research tells us that's the best way students learn. Um, it's pretty much the, the pedagogy we've all known and understood for years. So we really want to get back to that as quickly as possible. That has to happen with some safety guidelines, and that's available on the website and will continue to be updated. Um, but in addition to that, um, our families also told us they did not want to start the school in a remote learning environment um, like the last year had ended. So as a result of those things and the recent uptick in cases in Denton County, our Board of Trustees has elected to, to push the school start date back for two weeks until August the 26th. Um, and we will still get out of school um, on Thursday, May 27th. Uh, the last day of stu for students will be Thursday, May 27th of 21. So we will, we've just taken out some of the, um, the other days that our teachers are doing professional learning during the school year and put those all the way at the front of the year so that our teachers can be ready and get all the health safety protocol in place to welcome our kids back to the classroom or to develop really robust connected learning opportunities for our kids. Um, our teachers will report August the 4th, which will give them um, a little over three weeks to reach out to families to communicate specifics about what will specials look like in our face-to-face -face learning environment, what will hallway and transition to classes look like, just what will it be? Um, just know that we haven't done this before either, so we're working with you and, and with our, our teachers to really make it all happen and to make it a great learning experience and a safe learning experience um, for, for our students and a safe working environment for our teachers. Um, we, can't, we cannot forget our teachers that are coming in um, to do the best things for kids. And so we are gonna really make sure that we take care of that employee group and, and keep everybody moving with regard to that. Um, you should have received your SNAP code this week if you're a returning student. I believe the latest data I had showed that all 150 of our parents received their SNAP codes and we're working through those individually. Um, Pre-K and kinder students, you should register as new students and you can go ahead and do that uh, for kindergarten and pre-kindergarten and go ahead and begin getting that process rolling. And the campuses will um, reach out to you with specifics once you complete your enrollment process about what you need to do next. Um, in addition, you can also check out the website, look at the registration for new students, and then look at the back to school options for connected learning versus face-to-face. -face. Um, also this week, I took the opportunity to meet with over a thousand educators on our Zoom call with our employees across the district. Um, Zoom is really taking over the world, as you may know, and we can only have 500 at a time, but we sold out really quick. Um, I even got an email from one of our teachers that said, maybe you should start a YouTube channel. And uh, I thought, no, I don't, I've got other things that we need to do and spend our time working on. But I can tell you that what we're really trying to make sure happens is that everyone feels safe and comfortable coming back to school. Um, every, there's a lot of questions now still um, even though we have a framework there, please know that's going to be developing as we as we move forward. Um, delaying our school start date for two weeks is really um, a gift to our parents um, and our teachers with regard to feeling comfortable sending their kids back to face-to-face -face learning um, and developing robust connected learning platforms for our families and really to give our parents and our families an opportunity to have intimate conversations with our teachers either on the phone or via email once we get the sections established 
Um, you will not have to decide if you want to do connected learning until August the 12th. So just know that between now and August the 12th, we will be putting information up so that you can make a good decision. Transportation, cafeteria, all those kinds of things, it's all developing. And we really need our teachers to help us with that protocol because they're the ones in the schools that are doing the work and they're the ones that know exactly where all the nook and crannies are and how things can work from a scheduling perspective. So please be looking for that. Uh, between now and August the 12th is the uh, deadline to let us know that you want to participate in connected learning. However, the sooner you can do that, the better, because if, if we don't get all the information until August the 12th, then it's going to delay how much longer we can get specifics to you on what that's going to look like. So um, August the 26th, first start date for students. August the 4th, first start date for our teachers. Um, connected learning and face-to-face -face all the way through. Um, we are looking at PPE in our schools. Um, we've already purchased dividers for our, for our students' desks, and they're really small. They fold up like a folder, but they're clear and they're tall. Um, frankly, um, a student as young as five or six could even take that with them to the cafeteria if they needed to. Um, we are going to invest in some gators for our, our staff and our kids um, that will be logoed with Denton ISD um, and, and or the school logos in their school colors so that we can issue those to our students. And if you're not familiar with the neck gator, it's something you wear around your neck and you can pull up over your, over your nose as, as needed to. If you look at our back to school guidelines, it has the protocol for face coverings and what that might need to look like. Our hope, our hope for everyone is that we get to a point where we don't need them at all. But until that time, we have a staggered use um, protocol in place that you can check out on, our, on the back to school website as well. Um, we will have hand sanitizers available. We'll be disinfecting. Um, a very good cleaning, cleaning protocol is in place. If you look on our website for back to school, there's, a, there's an entire document about cleanliness and disinfecting. Um, you can also see on there what our employee leave policy is, what the notification is for, for positive COVID cases. Um, just know I can't get, we can't get all of it out to you at once without um, having some questions. Um, and frankly, the questions that you give us help develop a really good robust plan, robust plan for us to roll out on August the 26th. And um, I say roll it out for us to implement, right? Um, be, it'll be getting, continue to develop all the way through. Um, so that school, when kids return to school, either in a connected learning platform or face-to-face, -face, um, it's a positive experience for everybody. Um, if you know a teacher, send them a big thank you. Uh, this is a big heavy lift for them to move forward. Um, it's almost like all of us are having our first year in education all over again. For our parents, it's like you're having your first year in school all over again. Um, so we're all kind of like kindergarten parents. The only difference is um, we know how school has been and we know how it's going to look in the future, and it's probably not gonna look the same for a while. So um, just know that we have hope, um, we have the, uh, the perseverance, and we have people working diligently to get really good information to you. I apologize for the length of this video, but just know and take away www.dittonisd forward slash back to school, August the, 20, um, August the 26th for our students to start school on the first day, August the 4th for our families, and we'll continue to update information as we learn. Thank you. Have a great day.